Oregon's Vaccine Advisory Committee was back at it this week. The breakdown of inequalities and systemic racism. With the goal of creating equitable recommendations for the governor about the next vaccination groups after seniors and teachers. Last week, the group voted on a tentative list prioritizing BIPOC, Black, Indigenous, people of color who are disproportionately impacted by COVID-19, with more cases and deaths per capita. Silent and they're unseen. Also, refugees, people under 64 with chronic conditions, those in custody, frontline workers, families in multi-generational homes, and people in low-income senior housing and other congregate living for people under 65. Oregon Health Authority took this list to the Department of Justice for legal review. How might we implement these recommendations? OHA suggested using census tracts and demographic data to target neighborhoods with higher populations of these vulnerable people. The committee didn't have much response to this idea, instead discussing vulnerable groups further. Chronic medical conditions such as diabetes, kidney failure, cancer, those are all more common in minority communities. A big question some asked, is it legal to designate race for priority? We're not picking, for example, the BIPOC communities because they're ethnic or because they're Black or Latino, because they've been impacted so severely by COVID. To me, whatever we do is driven by data. OHA is still reviewing legality, but for many BIPOC communities, regardless. We're talking as if we are all lined up just waiting to be vaccinated. And we're not. Vaccine hesitancy is a concern, some pushing for stronger outreach and education. Enforcement of who counts in these categories is tricky, too. Folks that will game the system, but that's just the reality of, of how it works. Ultimately, the committee narrowed the list to BIPOC and people with chronic conditions, debating who's listed first. I don't agree with removing um, BIPOC as the first priority. I think it whitewashes the structural racism and systemic racism that we are trying to center. And with doses at stake. We can't be too narrow about how we do it because our goal is to get shots in arms and to save lives. The committee will consider arguments again before coming together next week to review final recommendations. Galen Etlin, KGW News.